In primetime news this evening, arrested prankster could face up to 10 years for scent and bomb threat. Stalled bauxite operations. St. Elizabeth communities describe the impact in a TVJ News special report. And developer disconnects St. Catherine community water, leaving residents furious. Good evening and welcome to primetime news. We're live on air and online at onespotmedia.com. I'm Herman Green. And I'm Janella Precious. With a preview of what's to come in business news, here's Javon Keys. Well, General, there was much excitement at the weekend with the opening of the flagship location for Krispy Kreme. Now, I spoke to the principals of the franchise and they say there are more locations to come. So I'll give the details a little later on. And Jordan Fort is also here to give us a preview of what's to come in sports. Jordan? Well, Herman, another Jamaican teenage athlete has decided to join the professional ranks for going college eligibility. I'll tell you more about the arrangement as she turns pro in Primetime Sports Monday. And Romaine is also here with a preview of what's to come in the weather report and forecast. Romaine? Thanks, General. Now, by the middle of this week, we are expecting conditions to begin deteriorating across the island. And this means more clouds, more showers, and more thunderstorms, especially in the afternoon. And it's also expected to continue into Thursday. A lot more in the weather report and forecast. There's also sports commentary and E-Prime in this newscast. But before the break, the feedback question. Or question this evening. What are your thoughts on the lengths people go to get notoriety on social media? You can share comments online, facebook.com slash television Jamaica and tweet us at TVJ News Center. Please stay tuned. Primetime News returns after this break. <laughs> 